Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these seed beads earrings hippie style with so many different colors. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment, you, you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook or on my Instagram page that I shared below this video, I will be so happy to see your creations. And one more thing I want to tell you is that down there in description, there is a short clip of this video where in just two, three minutes, you could see the whole idea of this project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips, and you might also want to see it and decide to subscribe there just to save time. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here I use ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size and other different type of beading thread whatever you like. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up six of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay guys and now here I have six yellow beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it as always. I make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made and then I make one more knot, pull. Now this is what I have, this beautiful circle of six beads. And now I will go in this direction through some beads. Okay, and now I'm going to start by picking up light orange bead like this. And I'm going back in circle through this yellow bead. Just like this. Then I will go again through this light orange bead. And I will pick up a dark orange bead and I will go back through it. And then again through the dark orange, through the light orange and through the yellow again. Okay. And now I'm here in my next yellow. And I will repeat the same thing, light orange, go through the yellow like this back in circle. You see here I have a loop between those two beads and I pull. Then I go through this orange bead, exiting out of the yellow, I'm going through the orange. I'm taking a dark orange bead and I'm going here through this light orange and then what I do is that I want to go back to the center. That is why I'm going through the dark orange, through the light orange, through the yellow. And then what I do is that I go through the following yellow. Okay, I'm exiting out of the following yellow and now I'm taking light orange bead going back in circle through this yellow like this. Go back through the orange, take one dark orange bead 
go back here. And now I will go back to the center of my work. Now guys, I have this. Okay, and now I'm going to show you one more time. Going through the yellow, taking orange, go back here, and again, one dark orange, go back through it, and then again through this one. and back and in the center okay guys and i think you get the idea just repeat this two more times and i'll meet you here and tell you how to continue okay guys and now i'm here where i added my last light orange bead here and what i want to do is reinforce these last two beads because I'm not going through the center anymore through the yellow beads in the center but I will reinforce the edge here and now what I want to take are three red beads okay I have three of them and I'm going through the following orange then I take three more Go through the following and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys and now I have this. And what I want to do next is go through the following two red beads exiting out of this central red bead and I'm going to take five yellow beads. Okay, I have my five beads here. And I'm going back here in circle through this red one. Just like this. Now you see what I have here. I have a loop of beads around this red one. And I pull. Then in my next step, I'm going to repeat this. I'm going through the following red, through the orange, and through the next two red beads. Okay, I'm exiting out of this middle red bead. I have three beads here. This is the middle one. And I'm exiting out of it. And I need five beads. Okay, I have my five here and I'm going back in circle through this one, exiting out of the next middle red bead. Okay, now this is what I have and I need to repeat this. And I'm going to do this three more times. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. Okay, just like that. And now in my next step, my goal is to go through these two yellows in this direction. And here at the edge. Okay. And now I'm going to pick up five dark orange beads. Okay, I have my five beads here. And I'm going through the next bead that's sticking out the most. Just like this. Then I need five more. Okay, I have five here. And I'm going here through the bead that's sticking out the most. Okay. 
and I'm going to continue with the same thing. Okay, I'm going to do this three more times and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And when I pull, I have this. And now you see I'm exiting here at the center of these five beads. This is the central one. I went through three orange beads and I'm exiting out of the central one. And now what I need to take are three red beads, okay, just like this. And I'm going back in circle here through this orange one. Okay, now I have this. And what I'm going to take next are five light green beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going back here in circle through this yellow bead. Just like this. Now I have this. Then in my next step, I'm going through the next three orange beads. And what I want to take here are three red beads. I take those three beads and I go back in circle here. And exit out of the next yellow. Now guys, I have this. And I'm going to take three green beads, sorry, five green beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going back in circle through this yellow and through the following three orange beads. Okay, now I have this. And here I take three red beads. I go back in circle and through the next three orange and through the yellow. Now here I need red, uh, I need greens, here reds and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five green beads. I'm going here through this yellow bead. And now guys, what I usually do is that I go at the edge and reinforce this element by going like this. Uh, I made this additional thread pad because sometimes my beads move up and down and I don't want uh, this effect. And then uh, I will do this off camera and I'll be back to show you how to attach your ear wire. Okay guys, and now I went around through all of my beads and I'm, now I'm exiting here out of this red bead. And I'm going to take, let's say, light orange bead. Then I'm going to take my ear wire and one more light orange bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this red one here. I'm going like this. And now I'm going to reinforce this joint here. By the way, it's good to make this work with transparent thread, clear thread like this one here, because in this way it won't be seen. Okay, and after I reinforce my work, I go here in the center. And what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making this knot by making here a loop. And going once. Then going second time through this loop I've made 
and I pull and then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead and here I'm going to cut my thread and now my colorful hippie earring is ready okay guys and now my colorful hippie style earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and down there in description you will find a full list of materials Link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and also a short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole idea of this project. This is on my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips and you might also decide to subscribe there for saving time. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me.